ING. I am a human rights organizer with the Coalition to Protect Public Housing. According to international guidelines, Article 25 of the United Nations Declaration on Human Rights, every man, woman, and child, regardless of their social and economic status, should be provided with a decent, adequate space in which to live. Yes, yes. Now, I'm going to show you an analogy between public housing in America and public housing abroad. In the city of Chicago, we are modeled after a program called Change, in which the city of Chicago, according to our statistics and investigation, have intentionally racially resegregated this city. Right. The plan for transformation calls for a forceful eviction of public, res public housing residents throughout this city. These are forceful evictions deeming the international community to be crimes against humanity because according to UN guidelines, a crime against humanity is anything atrocious committed on a large scale. Right. The demolishing of over 25,000 public housing right. units without identifying housing resources for people who are already homeless is definitely a blatant crime against humanity. Right. We feel, because it has been proven throughout the course of history, that whenever the Olympics comes into a city, thousands and thousands of people are displaced. Right. We're asking the city of Chicago, to, since it has a bid for the Olympics, to take the first steps by recognizing that it is a human rights abuser. In order to recognize that, you have to be willing to rectify that problem. And one of the ways to rectify is to work along with grassroots organizations around changing these human rights violations. We're asking the city of Chicago to take seriously as it did its bid for the Olympics. The Olympics is an international event that should be given to people who displays humanitarian effort. With the recent release of the Birds Report, the city of Chicago has not taken the first step to deem itself a humanitarian city. So we feel that it is no better time than now for the city of Chicago to step out publicly and say that it's willing to the, not only to the citizens of Chicago, but to the international community to work along with grassroots organizations yes. in reversing this trend of human rights abuses. Thanks. Yes. We are joined today by many organizations, uh, some of which are Access Living, Amnesty International, the Applied Research Center, Midwest Coalition for Human Rights, the Illinois Coalition to Abolish the Death Penalty, and we will read you um, we have many others. Um, and if you see in your packet, at the bottom of our press release, there's uh, a list of the uh, growing organizations. Now I'd like to introduce Alejandra Ibanez, who's the executive director of the Pilsen Alliance.